Welcome, this is the AP Physics uh, Workbook Solutions. Here I'm covering 1.A, which is covering this idea of displacement. What is displacement? Angelica is running to the bus 15 meters away. So on this diagram to the right, Angelica's position is at 0 meters. And label the position on the bus uh, 15 meters. Label the mark between Angelica and the bus using the appropriate po position values. There you go goes all the way up to 15. She starts at 0, goes the way all the way to 15. Okay, good. And she's running to the right, so I would label that as positive. Okay, so based on the label it, I'm going to label it right. And that just denotes that. Okay, so next, if the positive direction was labeled in the opposite direction, so like that, okay, how would it look like? Well, uh, that means the bus would be its starting zero positioning. Okay, that's if you flip it. Okay, that's what happens if you relabel it, assuming the bus starts at zero and she's going towards Angelica. Okay, all right, it depends on what point of view you're looking for. All right, so here's the argumentation you are asked to make a claim about the physical meaning of Angelica's displacement in part B. Fill in the blank below to complete the claim, evidence, and reasoning. Okay, this is the um, argumentation of explaining a physics problem. Okay, all right. So it's claim, evidence, and reason, basically. Okay, so we'll start here, but in this format, it gives you evidence first. So the evidence. When Angelica gets to the bus, her positioning is at what? Zero meters. Okay, and because Angelica's initial position was at 15 meters and again this is from the point of view of the bus okay the displacement is equal to the final position minus the initial position that is correct so therefore angelica's displacement is at zero meters minus 15 which is equal to negative 15 meters okay that is what her displacement is okay please understand that this is the difference between displacement and distance, okay? Displacement is referred as to just the starting and ending spots. Distance will take in consideration everything else that's in between, okay? That is the easiest way to think about the difference between displacement and distance. A lot of the time when you look at a change, okay, you are looking at a displacement. So if you want to think about this word, I want you to understand that displacement is an other word for change. Okay, change is defined as your final minus your initial. And the notation for change is the triangle. Okay, all right. So, displacement. How is the displacement from C different from part A? Please understand that here, part C displacement is 15, negative 15 meters, where part A was positive 15. Both displacement have the same value, but the opposite sign. Displacement is considered a vector by definition. It has both magnitude and direction. Okay. Part E. Evangelica ran to the bus and back where she started. Uh, what's her distance she traveled compared to her displacement? Okay. Please understand that this is, let's say this is Angelica. Okay. All right. And this is the bus. So here's Angelica. And here is the bus. Right? So if she runs through the bus, shh, then back, you have to take a complete total of that. But her displacement is just final minus initial. Okay? Think about that. So in terms of displacement, Running to the bus is 15 meters, and running back would be negative meters. So her total displacement would be zero. She technically never moved because her final spot and her initial spot was the same. 
Now, in terms of distance, running to the bus is 15 meters and running back would also be 15 meters. So her total distance would be 30 because it takes into consideration what happens in the middle. Okay, so in short, if you want to memorize it, displacement only depends on the final minus the initial location. Nothing in between. Okay, there you go. Those are all your solutions.